Hello guys, what is up? Another video, five financial rules for teens. All right, let's get right into it. Number one is don't get into debt. This is seriously like the number, it's number one for a reason, all right? This can dictate your future financially, um, physically, mentally, everything. This is huge because a lot of people are looming in debt and they have piled up a debt and they're just not living lives like they would want to be living their life because they have this stupid debt that they acquired in the ages of 18 to 24 that they can't get rid of. They're in their 40s, they're in their 50s and they're still trying to get rid of it. And this is so serious because it's so easy to do, but yet it's so hard. It's so hard to stay out of debt because you want to get that credit card. You want to buy all that stuff. And it's it's easy as in just not getting that credit card. Or if you're going to get the credit card, you have to trust yourself that you're going to be doing and using it for what it's used for. A credit card, the only reason why you should get one is if you need credit, aka for real estate investing. That is a whole nother video, but just to, just don't get a credit card if you're just getting it. You can use a debit card, it'll be fine. Don't get a credit card unless you need to build your credit. Uh, number two is save. This one's hard and easy at the same time. Uh, there's many different ways of doing this, but saving money is key. You want to have a stockpile of money saved up to help you. And it's hard saving money because you just want to go and spend it. And most of uh, the teachings of today, the society's world, is to spend your money before you even get it. Like the new Earn It app. That app is so dumb because you're going to end up spending your money and before your paycheck and you're gonna have be charged a fee on your paycheck so you're earning even less than what you would be just to get it sooner like that doesn't make any sense if you want money sooner figure out a different job figure out a different way create a side hustle don't be getting this app so you can go uh, buy some food for yourself or you need gas well, you should have saved the money from your last check and not spent it all. Anyways, moving on to number three is read. Reading is key. I cannot say this enough. I'm not a big reader, but I like reading personal uh, personal uh, improvement, personal uh, wealth, just uh, life improvement books, basically, because I feel like they have a high effect effective rate on your brain however young you are you're more impressionable if you're younger and if you can set that in your brain it will help you way down the road in life especially if you own a business and you've read all these books about people who've owned businesses you can make a wiser decision even though you haven't been through there but you can base the situation maybe off of a similar situation someone else might have had and you can profit off of that. Number four is fail. This one may sound like a weird one to say, but hear me out for a second. This is the age that you can fail. You can run businesses and you can fail at them tremendously and be fine because you have plenty of time, all right? You have so much time to where this should be your experimental age. If you're anywhere from uh, 15 to 25, you should be experimenting with all sorts of stuff like creating businesses and if you think you're too young to start a business that is not true all right i started my first business technically whenever i was 12 all right you can do it too all right just you gotta you gotta be willing to go get it and you gotta be willing to fail because whenever you fail it t teaches you the best of lessons whenever you fail uh number five is invest this is key all right you saved up your money, you're not in debt, uh, you read the books, you failed a little bit. Now put the money in play, all right? Go invest in stocks, go invest in uh, your Roth IRA, go uh, 
try to save up for some real estate, start investing in real estate, and just invest your money instead of just having it sit there. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button if you really liked this video. Um, comment down below if you have any questions, and make sure to subscribe if you're a new viewer. Uh, see you guys in the next video.